Jesus Jimenez Gomez, come on forward. Mr. Gomez, you are very young and this is a very serious case. So this is what I'm gonna say to you first. You're the same age as my son. So I'm gonna talk to you like I'm your mama for a second. I need you to make some different choices going forward, son, okay? Now, you are innocent until proven guilty, right? Let's let the state do their job, see if they can prove guilt regarding this case, but it's so serious and you're so young. I just felt like I had to address that. All right. Well, All right. You are here on an out-of-county felony for murder. It is a first degree felony. The range of punishment on that type of offense in the state of Texas is a minimum of five years to a maximum of 99 years of life in prison and a $10,000 fine. It is coming from Tarrant County. That bond has been set at $50,000 plus no possession of a firearm. Do you have any questions, sir, regarding your char charge or bond amount? Uh, who said that bond fifty thousand Terrence County? Okay. Mm. Uh, you said it was a first degree. Yes, very serious. Would you like for me to point you an attorney this morning to help you this morning, sir? Yes, sir. All right, because you're going to need somebody. Where do you live? Do you live here or you live in Tarrant County? Yeah, I live here. You live in Austin. Okay. You have any other questions for me, sir? Okay. All right. Take care of yourself. Next, we have Adam Jamil. I hope I'm pronouncing your last name correctly. Yeah, no. All right, sir. You also have some very serious charges. You're also just as young as the gentleman previous, Mr. Gomez. Y'all are the same age. So again, I don't mean to sound like your mama, Mr. Jamil, but I need to talk to you like I'm, a, I'm your mom for a second. You need to make some different choices going forward, son, okay? You are innocent until proven guilty, so I want to make sure I tell you that. But these charges are so serious and your, your consequences you face are so dire that I just want you to use this as an opportunity to turn over a new leaf, okay? All right. You are also here on two first-degree felonies, aggravated assault. The range of punishment on those types of offenses in the state of Texas is a minimum of five years to a maximum of 99 years of life in prison and a $10,000 fine. Each of those aggravated assaults has been styled as a, I'm, I'm sorry, has been set at $50,000 plus no possession of a firearm, plus no contact with the alleged victim, plus a GPS, plus a curfew from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. Do I have I been granted PR bond? No, sir. We don't give PR bonds on such serious offenses. So let me tell you about that for a second. The law in Texas changed in September of 2021. Not sure if you're aware of that. So these are considered what's called Senate Bill 6 cases. Our governor and the legislature pushed that bill through. And what it says is that you can no longer obtain personal bond despite your limited criminal history on any felony assault type cases in the state of Texas anymore. That's the reason why we have to vote, right? So we don't have these types of draconian laws that get put in place. But in any event, that is the law of the land at this time. So you must hire an attorney or a bondsman. The going rate to get out of jail in Travis County is five to 10% of the bond amount. In your case, it's going to be work out to be anywhere between, let's see, about 6,500 to 13,000 to any attorney or bondsman of your choice. You will be given access to the phone to hire them. They do work 24 hours a day or in the alternative if money is an issue, I will appoint you an attorney this morning who can attempt to obtain personal bond for you free of charge. Given your age and your limited criminal history, that court appointed counsel can get you out, but it's gonna take them a couple of days to come out and see you and have you fill out the paperwork. So would you like for me to appoint an attorney to help you this morning? Yes, ma'am. But can I speak for a second, please, if it's possible? Want to change? Absolutely. But let me warn you, please don't say make any statements against your self-interest. This okay. proceeding is being recorded. The state will use it against you. Let them do their job. Make them prove your guilt. But go ahead. What do you, would you like to say, sir? The responsible good man, Your Honor. I have two beautiful children at home, a three-year-old and a one-year-old. I have maintained a good job. I've always been working. I, I maintain the apartment. 
Um, we're supposed to be moving into a new home. It was supposed to be on Monday. They're giving me a chance to do it by Friday to move into the home. I'm trying so hard to do everything, Your Honor. I'm not. I'm not out looking for trouble. I've been a responsible young man this whole time. I just, I just would wish I could please get an opportunity just to get out of here. I'm not like, I'm not looking to stay any longer just because I have a job. Let me every- stop you. Let me stop you. I'm going to give you that opportunity, which is why I'm appointing you an attorney this morning. If your family hires someone, tell them to come see me. I'll sign your bond. I'll sign Mr. Gomez's bond too. But if you don't have the money, then wait. You're going to have to wait the couple of days for the court appointed attorney to come see you. He'll have you fill out the paperwork and then he'll bring those bonds to me. Do you understand? So, how much do I have to pay? Like, basically, if I go hire a bondsman today, what would, what would it have to be? Between $6,500 to $13,000. That's the going rate. But of course, you can negotiate any amount with them. It all depends on how much money you have available to you. They, they take different amounts, but you can tell them that they can come see me about the bond and I will consider signing it given your age and limited criminal history. Okay, one second, Mr. Gomez. Let me let Mr. Jamil get all his questions answered. There are like any way possible that I can be out by today if I can call bondsmen and get everything settled. I'm here tonight. If you hire somebody, tell them to come see me. I just said that. So, and what, what is your name? By the chance, so I can know. Tell That's my- okay. Jefferson, like it's Jeffers. Jefferson without the O-N. All right. Now you got two more charges. That ain't all you got. You have two third degree felonies as well. The range of punishment on those types of offenses in the state of Texas is a minimum of two years to a maximum of 10 years in the Texas Department of Correction. The first third degree felony has been styled as an evading arrest. That bond was set at 15,000. The second third degree felony was styled as a tampering and that bond was also set at $15,000. All right. So those are all your charges in total. Mr. Jimmy, I'm serious. Basically, like all the amounts now that I would have to pay earlier. I just want to know so I know what to ask my family members. What I already discussed between $6,500 and $13,000 is the going rate, but it's whatever you negotiate based on what you have and who you choose to hire. Okay. Okay. Those charges, those other ones too, right? Yeah, I had already included them. I just need you to make some different choices. I mean, I'm using your own words. You got these two little kids. You're also very young. I don't know why you out here riding around with a gun, allegedly, again, because you are innocent until proven guilty. But son, I need you to do something different. And I'm not telling you anything that I wouldn't tell my own child that's your same age if he was sitting in front of me on these type of cases. Okay. All right. You have any other questions for me, sir? Come on, Mr. Gomez. Come on forward. Ask me your question. Take care of yourself, Mr. Jamil. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You said you would you 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 would sign off on a bond if I. Yeah. I would consider giving you a bond. Now, what you got to be aware of is you are in a red county, Tarrant County. So even when I sign off on the bond, it's been set low. Both you and Mr. Jamil, I set them low because of your history. Fifty thousand is low for murder. I just had a murder of a, a last week where the defendant was twenty one years old, so he's one year older than you, and I set his bond at a million dollars. Okay. So understand I'm cutting you and Mr. Jamil a break today. I will sign that bond for you, but you are going back to Tarrant County. I need you to understand that's a red county. When you make it back to Tarrant County, that judge is probably going to increase that bond and put you back in jail. That's just something you need to get ready for. So you need to tell your family, y'all need to work hard, put your money aside, because once you make it back to Tarrant County, you're probably going to have to do a new bond with that county. But you're not in Tarrant County. You're in a blue county, Travis. And we <laughs> we attempt to work with people down here with criminal offenses, right? Because we consider you to be innocent until you are proven guilty by the state. Every other county doesn't work that way. So I just need to make sure you understand that and give you that warning. So even if I was supposed to post, even if I was uh, to post bond here, I still won't be released because I'll be touching. No, no, you will be released. You'll be released to start going to court in Tarrant County because that's where your case is. But I'm saying to you, I need to warn you ahead of time that your Tarrant County District Judge may increase that bond. He may say, murder? Hell no. I don't want to set at $50,000. That Travis County Judge was smoking rocks. I'm going to increase it, right? That's what he may say. So I just want to give you that warning. I've been practicing law in, in Travis County for 23 years as a criminal defense attorney. So I just want to make sure you understand what you're facing. Okay? 
Yes, ma'am. And uh, those are the, so if I do post bond for that for that uh, first degree felony, there won't be any any other charges that I have like in other counties that like will stop me from walking out. Well, let me check. I don't think you had anything else, but if you do, oh yeah, you do have other stuff. Okay, so you gotta. You got some misdemeanor bond forfeitures here. They're each set at $2,500. So that's low. But yeah, another $5,000. So yes, you have to post on all of those. Sir, thank you. Son, you're welcome. Make different choices going forward. You and Mr. Jamil are going to be going to court on these very serious felony cases for the next two years. Okay? So what I'm going to say to you is you need to post bond. You need to come out and do what's, what we call in criminal defense world as a good guy file. You need to come out, get a job, go to school, be a good citizen, show up for court, and see if you can get a good defense attorney to get these charges dismissed against you. But it's going to take a while. You're going to be going to court for a couple of years, and you need to be on the straight and narrow. No drugs, no drinking, go to work, pay your bills, because otherwise you give, especially you, Mr. Gomez, you give that 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 district judge in that very red county the opportunity to to revoke your bond and sit you in his jail don't give him that opportunity okay yes ma'am post and do the right thing make better choices okay and uh, also one more question uh, i want to know like like how, how much was the range like like what is that 10 percent of like how much would it be total like for sorry, my, Again, five to ten percent of the bond amount is the going rate to get out of jail in Travis County. So you'll pay anywhere between twenty five hundred to five thousand to any attorney or bondsman of your choice. Or in the alternative, as I stated, I've appointed you an attorney who can do that bond for you for free. But for you, that that appointment order is coming from Tarrant County, so it could take you more than a week for them to appoint somebody up there. Him get the information, come see you down here. So it's going to be easier for you to post bond here as opposed to waiting for your court appointed attorney out of Tarrant County. Does that uh, make sense? Yes, ma'am. So all I got to do is call the bill bond from here. Or a local attorney, either one. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on, Mr. Jamil. What's your question? Come forward. Well, I was just asking that if uh, my, I, I was appointed a court, uh, court appointed attorney and you said it should take about two days, right? So while that process is going, can I still call all bail bonds in this Correct. Court? I'm just telling you, you'll have to wait two days for the free attorney, but you can post at any time. It's folks hanging outside the jail right now, waiting to take your money and get you out of jail. They work, those attorney and bondsmen work 24 hours a day. Okay. And the amount that I'll have to pay today basically is like almost 6500 That's just Or whatever amount you negotiate. If you call a, an attorney at Bonsman, you say, man, I got 2000 Can you come get me today? They probably going to come get you for your 2000 and put you on a payment plan for the balance. You okay. understand? That's the way that works. I'll make a call as soon as you get back. And I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Make better choices, son. Very sorry. Thank you. All right. Brown, anybody else? Nope. All right. Thank you, sir, for your service this morning. I got a question. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, How can I help you, sir? So if I can get an attorney to uh, get my bond paid and, like you said, I, I could get out today. Correct. What's your last name? Delmar. Delmar. Uh, let me see. What well, was it again? Ricardo Silva. I cannot hear him, uh, Brown. What's his name? Silva. Silva. Okay, yeah. You got these Hayes County cases, but these bonds are set low. They're 10000 total. So, yeah, whoever you get. I mean, you'll pay anywhere between, what, is it $250 to $500? Is that what I told you? No, yes. no, no. 500 to 1000 Sorry. Because yes. you got two $5,000 bonds. So, yeah, anybody can, can get you out. Absolutely. Yours are low. Theirs are a little tougher. Okay, so if I can get a hold of that. The bell's bond, I could tell him to come and get me pay the bond. Correct. Or you can hire an attorney, and an attorney will have to come see me with the bond. Okay. Either one. Okay. Thank you. All right. You're very welcome. Brown, anybody else? No, that's it.